The Cars series is undoubtedly one of Disney Pixar's most popular series. Today, we will talk about which brand of cars the memorable characters in the Cars series are based on. Also, as you know, the channel is still quite new. I would appreciate it if you could subscribe and like the video to boost my motivation and ensure more content like this in the future. Thank you in advance, let's dive into the video. Firstly, it's worth mentioning that the Piston Cup race was entirely based on NASCAR. NASCAR races are massive competitions held on oval tracks, featuring 43 cars racing at high speeds. Originating after World War II, this race has become one of the most popular sports in the United States, second only to American football. Consequently, nearly all the race cars competing for the Piston Cup in the Cars film series were inspired by car models from NASCAR races. The the cars you see here are some of the most victorious vehicles in NASCAR races. Plymouth Superbird The Plymouth car brand, which started production in 1928, was like the Ferrari of NASCAR races. Up until now, a total of 190 Plymouth race cars have completed races in the first place, with the most notable being the Plymouth Superbird from the late 60s and early 70s. Understanding that this race car served as inspiration for the famous racing car in the first Cars film shouldn't be too difficult. Hudson Hornet the voice actor for Hudson, Paul Newman, had passed away before the release of Cars 2. A significant portion of the narrative in Cars 3 is dedicated to honoring the memory of Doc and consequently his voice actor Paul Newman. The racing cars Hudson Hornet, production of which ceased in the late 50s, served as the inspiration for the creation of the Doc Hudson character. This fabulous car, known by the nickname Fabulous, was chosen especially. Although not as much as Plymouth, Hornet exhibited outstanding performance, winning 66 races, particularly in the 1950s. Specifically, within a span of two years from 1952 to 1954, it achieved a record-breaking feat by winning 66 races. With its relatively lightweight and low center of gravity, the Hornet was ahead of its time. While talking about NASCAR races, it's worth noting that in Cars 3, some modern racing cars were voiced by professional NASCAR drivers. Here are the characters and their voice actors. Speaking of our main character, Lightning McQueen, I must mention that he doesn't have a specific source of inspiration. However, the designer of Lightning McQueen mentioned in an interview that he tried to create a blend of Corvette C1 and Corvette C6. In other words, McQueen is a kind of Corvette, Porsche 911 Carrera. Everything is clear, this is a Porsche. Specifically, it comes from the model of the 2002 Porsche 911 with the surname Carrera. So Sally is a fantastic character with an upscale background that contradicts the town she is in. Additionally, Sally is the only modern car in Radiator Springs. Mac, a bit clumsy, but still an old big truck with a heart of gold. This character bears a striking resemblance to the 1985 model Mac Superliner. What's special about this model is its decades-long use in transporting NASCAR race cars. The Superliner model, which ceased production in the late 90s in America, clearly inspired the character's appearance and name. You may remember Cruz Ramirez from the latest film. Like the other names on the list, this character is not directly based on a single brand. When creating the design for this character, they took inspiration from several brands, namely the 2017 Toyota 86 and Toyota Scion FRS, which have almost identical designs. Additionally, they drew inspiration from the famous Honda Del Sol models from the 90s. While talking about the latest film, I couldn't skip mentioning Jackson Storm. Although the film mentions that he's a custom-built car from 2017, the design is strikingly similar to the 2002 Cadillac CN concept. They've intersected a new generation racing car with a classic model from the past. Although, in terms of appearance, these Cadillacs stand out as ahead of their time. 
Turning our attention to Mater, the most lovable character in the series, Mater, the tow truck with quite a few miles on him, can be considered a cliché country boy. It is certain that he is inspired by an old model tow truck, but I can provide you with a specific brand and model, the 1951 International Harvester. This automotive company typically produces vehicles for agriculture or construction, and the tow truck they produced in 1951 is one of the standout vehicles in the history of International Harvester. Luigi owned a tire shop in Radiator Springs, as you know. Later, he became an indispensable member of McQueen's pit crew alongside his best friend, the forklift Guido. He carries the flawless style of the Fiat 500, another proud symbol of his Italian heritage. The current version of the Fiat 500, which continues production in this manner, resembles our character more in its 1960s form. In this animated film series, we've seen many cars that clearly draw inspiration from specific designs or brands. Take Formula One, for example. Almost every character we see in Radiator Springs. In other words, every racing car that crosses our path. What I want to say is that the car series deserves respect not only for its successful storyline, but also for its references to car enthusiasts. Additionally, some characters in this film series directly incorporate a brand's logo, such as Volkswagen, Porsche, Hudson. We can say that rather than just taking inspiration from these, it's more like a direct representation. An example of this can be seen in Lewis Hamilton from Cars 2. He is a kind of McLaren. The cool part is that his name comes from the famous racing driver, Lewis Hamilton, and he also voiced the character. In the Brazilian dub, they had the character voiced by Brazilian racing driver Emerson Fittipaldi. In that sense, Lewis Hamilton's character is indeed a valuable addition to the series. Alright guys, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed the video. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's very important for me that you subscribe and like the video. I'm Dofuka, wishing to see you in the next video. Take care.